Um, whoa. So, good morning. Thanks to those guys, I got to wake up uh, bright and early today at like 8 a.m. It was 8 a.m. right on the dot when I looked at the clock and I heard some banging outside. I didn't know what was going on at first. I literally thought someone was like throwing rocks at my window or something. So I go and I look outside and uh, yeah, the construction guys finally showed up. I mentioned it for like a second at the end of my last video, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check that out. But yeah, the construction has, uh, it's finally started. If there's one question I get in person more than anything else, it is, <clears throat> what kind of colognes do I use? Um, so I have three colognes that I use basically every day. Um, the first one is right here. Actually, to be fair, I like don't even really use that one. The main two that I use are gonna be the Versace, like, I don't even know how to say that word. If you wanna try, go for it. But yeah, that Versace one, and I use uh, Jimmy Choo. These are like my main two colognes. My f***ing hair. Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Gotta pick a side. Pick a side, hair. Okay, it's just gonna do whatever it wants. I have a third way that my hair goes, okay. But more importantly than cologne, because some guys tend to think, yeah, if I have cologne, I smell good. No, you need deodorant. And this is my current favorite deodorant. It's my Old Spice, it's called Bear Glove. I love this deodorant because I can rock it without having any cologne on, and people can smell it from like a good distance away, but it's not like, too heavy, which that's the worst thing about cologne, because you'll have people who it's like, you know, they discover cologne, they think, oh my god, girls love the way a guy smells, and they drench themselves in cologne. And there comes a point where if you drench yourself in it, it does more harm than good. Cologne is like medicine, okay? If you have the right amount, it's an amazing thing, but if you have too much, it's gonna do the opposite effect. Like no flavor spray. <laughs> oh, <laughs> It's Sprite without a personality. <laughs> oh, let me try, let me try. Let me try. No, no, just imagine Sprite without the flavor. It's terrible. <laughs> that was disrespectful to my mouth. I kind of feel If I was in a desert dying of dehydration, I would not drink that. That was disrespectful to my mouth. It's like your brain says. That's what a hot girl with a terrible personality is like. I'm like a. Boom. My filming room. This is the only room that I can go to at any hour of the day and like be guaranteed that no one is in here. Yes. Well, what's funny is every single time I film a video in here, like literally every single time I film a video in here, there's always someone who walks in while I'm filming and then they see me filming a video and they have no idea what's going on and they just leave. <laughs> okay, so I have like three things that I literally revolve my entire life around. And this isn't about attractive things you do to get one guy to like you. This is things that you just do in your own life to make your lifestyle more attractive and just better in general to make other people like you more in general. In fact, screw other people. It's not just about them liking you more. It's about you liking yourself and liking your life more. And then when other people can see that you love your life, they want to be around that. But I have three things that I basically think about out every single day and if I'm ever doing anything and it doesn't apply to one of these three categories it's it literally it's a waste of time as far as I'm concerned and I didn't come up with these three things either I've heard them just from so many different people um, and I just feel like like it's just so important so the first quality that you need in order to have an attractive lifestyle is good health which might sound obvious for some reasons and I feel like some people might actually take this personally that I'm saying hey be in shape because it's like if you're not in shape and you're hearing someone say hey if you're not in shape You're unattractive like I can understand why that might be a little insulting to the ego It's not just about health But it's about how you treat yourself and how you take care of your health just in general Like if you look at someone who just eats junk food all the time drinks alcohol on the weekends Never takes care of their health at all and they rely literally just on their metabolism to be healthy when they're 30 They ain't gonna be sexy as opposed to someone who maybe isn't in as good of a shape but eats well, goes to the gym consistently, actually gives a shit about their body, that person at 30 is going to be more attractive than they were at 20. So when someone says, hey, it's not about what you look like on the outside, it's about how you are on the inside, I agree. I agree personality is at least as equally important as looks. But hold up a second. 
how you treat yourself is a personality trait. Like I would say someone who consistently goes to the gym is super attractive. Like do you guys have me on Snapchat? If you don't, add me on Snapchat right there. But like literally at this point in my life, this is the most consistent I've ever been at the gym. Like if you go to the gym a lot, you're gonna notice there's basically two kinds of people. It's the people who go because they love themselves and they care about taking care of their body. And then there's the people who go because they wanna be hot for other people. Which yo, if you wanna go to the gym just so other people think you're hot, I commend you, I don't think you're a bad person for that. Like, I have more respect for the person who goes to the gym so that other people think they're hot versus the person who doesn't go to the gym at all. Being healthy, like, it comes down to so many more things than just physical health. Like, it's good for you mentally, emotionally, like, it just, it makes everything else in your life just better. But I'll stop ranting about something that should be really obvious. Uh, so yeah, number two. So the second thing that you need in order to have like a really good and attractive life, and this is gonna sound a little, a little materialistic, but it's money. Money gets so much shit talk and it is just messed up. Like if I do a sponsored video, people will literally get mad and call me a sellout because I need to pay bills. Which by the way, I would never do a sponsor for something that I don't actually approve of. Like I'm doing a sponsor uh, in, a, in the next few weeks. I actually approve of that product. Like I'm sorry, I don't wanna live paycheck to paycheck. Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. Why do you think people go to college for four years spending like $60,000 a year just so they can get a fucking receipt that might give them a job to possibly pay it back? Because money's important, whether we want to admit it or not. It's just that the people that don't have a lot of money love talking shit on the people who do have a lot of money. But a lot of people want money because they think that it can buy them happiness. Here's the thing, money cannot buy you happiness and that is so important to understand. The only thing money buys you when you don't spend it is a stress-free life. When you have money, it is the least important thing in the world, but when you don't have money, it is like priority number one. Like I'm at school right now, I'm literally skipping a class just so I can film this video because this is my priority. I'll tell you what though, if I had like 100 G's in the bank, I wouldn't really be stressed out about missing that class. But the fact that I'm skipping that class just so I can get this video out on time, yeah, it's a little stressful. And like, me personally, I don't even really care about materialistic things, at least not as much as most of my friends do. Like my friends say that when they're making a lot of money, they're gonna be buying all these cars and nice houses. Me personally, the majority of my money is just gonna go straight to food. So I was actually gonna film this whole video while I was in this room, um, but my camera is on low battery, my laptop completely died, my card is almost full. Basically everything is going wrong, so we're gonna go home. But anyway, the third and last quality that I feel like you need to have in order to just have a really good, happy lifestyle uh, in general is relationships. And there's different kinds of relationships that you need. It's the kind that you have with your family, the ones with your friends, the ones with strangers who you meet on the street, how you interact with those people. And out of health, wealth, and relationships, which one do you think I care about the most? Yeah. Because here's the way I see it. You can have all the health and all the wealth in the world, but if you have no one to share all that time with, who cares? And on one level, you want to be good at like talking to people who you don't know and having like a good, friendly, nice, not awkward interaction. And on the other hand, you want to still be able to have really deep relationships with people who you've known your entire life. Maybe not even people you've known your entire life, but just people who you feel like you've known your entire life. Because like I said in my last video, I would rather have one dollar than 100 pennies. Because what I mean is I would rather have one or two really deep friendships that I like just know me, like just get me better than anyone else, rather than 15 or 20 acquaintances who really don't have my back at the end of the day. But what's nice about relationships is that guess what? You don't have to pick one or the other. Why pick having one dollar in a hundred pennies or a dollar bill when you can just have two dollars? Oh, there's a mosquito in the car. Oh, where is he? I'm gonna whoop his ass. Oh, 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 oh. Bastard. I got him but I smashed them onto my jeans and now that's kind of gross. Anyway, but yeah, in the next few years, I'm gonna have videos about health, wealth, relationships. I'm gonna have videos about things that have nothing to do with anything I'm talking about right now. I'm gonna make videos about whatever I want. It's just, I don't know, it's, it's just, it's, it's a slow transition. I just wanna start recording more things that are happening to me in my everyday life, just so I have something that I can look back on in a few years and just like remember what I was doing at that point in my life. And just remember like where I was at mentally, cause who knows, maybe in the future, like I would disagree with part of this video. I don't know, I highly doubt it, but you never know. But anyway guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up down below. If this is your first time ever watching one of my videos and you don't hate my face, feel free to subscribe because we make videos like this every single week. And guys, that's really all I've got to say on it. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next Monday. Peace.